Hello again, everybody. The next car that you've selected to view on where, Jeremy? It's ClassicMuscleCars.com. Absolutely. One of the best on the net. There isn't anything like it anywhere. And, Jeremy, how many Today videos do we have on online? We've got very close to 300. Can you believe that? Almost 300 videos of cars that we've sold since April two years ago, correct? That's incredible. That's awesome, too, because you know what? That's a lot of research material for people to be able to view, and we have a lot of fun doing these videos, don't we, Jeremy? Absolutely. We just did a burnout on one part of making this video, but now we're, we're not going to do a burnout on this car. We're going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, also, I want to remind everybody, if you are a muscle car fan, go to musclecarclub.com. Musclecarclub.com is one of the best informative websites on the Internet for technical specifications and also information pertaining to muscle cars from the muscle car era of the 60s and early 70s. Right, Jeremy? Yeah, man. All right, man. <laughs> now, we're standing in front of a car that we've had in inventory for a while. We've had this car out, and we didn't do a video earlier because it wasn't here. And you know how I do some of these videos, and I say we got to do this and this and this. Well, this car is done. It's ready to sell. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't here when it was shipped in, and uh, so we've, we're a little bit late in getting this video out. But it's done. We just got it back, and we've got it ready to sell. Now, we do a lot of work to our cars here, and this car's had accumulation of work done over the past year, and now we have got the car, what we wanted to finish, to get the kinks out of it and get it right. Now, that doesn't mean that it's new again, because this car had an extensive restoration, and it is a nice car, but I don't do 1,000 point show cars here because we don't sell them for $150,000 either, right Jeremy? No, no, it's very affordable. Very affordable and I tell you what, there isn't a car that I have here in inventory that we sell at Classic Auto Brokers that you could go and get for nothing and build it to what we have to sell here for because it's very expensive today to redo and restore a car. It's the same with this. This is an X66 code, big block SS69 Camaro convertible. That is the hottest stuff on the planet. The 69 SS big block convertible, huge money. Unbelievable. But it's the car that everybody wants. So even if you got this car and you had to totally restore it, in today's market, you would pay twenty to 30000 just to get a, re a car, 69 SS big block Camaro convertible, that you're going to start with just to be able to redo. Now this car has been redone. It's got new paint. Base coat, clear coat. It's got a brand new houndstooth interior, which it codes that way on the on the on the data plate on the firewall. It has uh, a new top, all new weather stripping. Uh, the engine is fully detailed in the car. All the trim and the stainless, everything has been redone or replaced on the car. The bumpers have been replated. It's got bumper guards on it. It's got a three-spoke steering wheel. The door handles are new. The wheelhouse moldings are new. Uh, it's got a new trunk mat in it. It's got a new well where the top goes back down in on it. So, I mean, it's a car that's been fully gone through. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful car. It's a factory Hugger Orange car also. It's just gorgeous. Now, getting into the restoration end of it, when you do a car like this, it takes a long time. You know, you see these shows on TV that they have where they got 80 guys working on a car and they get it done in three days? Well, let me tell you something. It might look good and you might have 80 guys, but the more people you got hands in something like that, there is no way when you get that car finished it's going to be roadworthy. It might drive down the block, but that's about it. It takes a while when you restore a car to go through them, work with them a little bit, get the kinks out of them. We've done that with this. Now, I'm not saying it's not perfect. There's probably going to be some issues that's still going to have to be addressed. I'm not talking about major mechanical. I'm just talking like you might have a loose window crank. Uh, you might have a door lock knob that sticks. Things like that, little things. Those are the things that takes a while to work out when you do a restoration. Too many people forget today that cars like this are 30 plus years old, right? Now you have to remember, if you see an original car that's over 30 years old, let me tell you, wherever it was sitting, wherever it was found, it doesn't look like this. It takes a whole lot of work 
and uh, time to be able to get a car into this kind of condition. So this car, for what we're selling it to you for, you cannot go out and buy one and restore it if you could find one because in these kind of cars, no, you can't find them. Fifteen years ago, it was hard to find a big block Camaro 69 convertible to even restore. They are really hard to find because of very popular cars. This is a gorgeous car. This is a car that I personally love, the 69 Camaro. And this is a car that if I was in a position to be able to keep it, I would. But you know what? I can't keep everything because if I did, I wouldn't be in business anymore. Right, Jeremy? You'd have no space. So some lucky person is going to get a beautiful car to drive around cruise and enjoy the summer it's a great investment they never go down they continue to go up and i have been selling 69 camaros since the first day i started this company why do i say that the car that i sold that started northern illinois classic auto brokers was my personal 69 daytona yellow z28 that's what I sold in 1978 for the total sum of $2,800. And it was in this kind of condition. It was a beautiful car. That's what I sold it for. And if I had that same car today, Jeremy, that car would be worth over $50,000. Now, with that $2,800, that started Northern Illinois Classic Auto Brokers. No BS. That's a true story. It took all these years to get us to where we're at today. But you know what? I'm a car guy. I love cars. I love what I'm doing. And I love to meet car people who have the same interests as I do. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter who you are or what you do. When you're a car guy, man, we're all the same kind of people. And it's the greatest feeling in the world when you can go out and cruise somewhere and start talking cars with people. It's awesome. So I'm going to turn you over to Jeremy. He's going to give you a great go around of this car. He's going to wait till the sun gets over just a little bit more so you can see down in the engine compartment. But he's going to go around now and shoot the exterior of the car. When he gets a little bit more sunlight from this angle, you'll be able to see inside the engine compartment. It's beautiful. Everything on this car has had attention to some work. So, I mean, it, it's just one of those cars. It's not like they just put a paint job on it and they spray bombed in the engine compartment and they just threw a couple new pieces in the interior this car folks has been gone through it's had an extensive amount of work to get it into the condition where it's at if you knew how to do all this stuff you could appreciate the workmanship that went into it and it's a credible incredible amount of time that it takes to resurrect a car and bring it back into this kind of condition a lot of stuff that you see out there today or just a tape and shoot paint, a spray bomb under the hood, maybe putting new carpet in the interior, and there's a lot of cars that have been gone that way as far as the restoration. That's just a cosmetic redo. This is different. This is a pull apart, done up car. So there's been a lot of work done to it. It's what we consider a frame up, a body apart restoration is where everything comes completely down to nothing is left except the shell of the car and this car was not done to that extent okay but close because that's how much work was done to it so it's an incredible car I love it big time and I know that you will too so give that a call at 847-526 Five nine five zero. Is that the number, Jeremy? Eight two seven. I got to I got to wake Jeremy up over here because he. What were you out late yesterday? I got the two thirty in the morning rescue call. That's what I heard. You had to go get a damsel in distress last night late, right? Who who had a little bit too much party and you had to go pick her up and take her home, right? Yep. You're a good man, Jeremy. You're you're the. Uh, Mile round trip. I think your uncle Jeremy there, right? I'm just going to call Uncle Jeremy. He'll come get me out of trouble. <laughs> but Jeremy's a good man. So anyway, I'm going to turn Jeremy over to you, give you a go around of this beautiful 1969 Camaro SS 396 X66 code big block convertible. Well, I've waited till it's a little bit lighter out here. The sun has moved around just a little bit. Let's just get a look at this car. Absolutely beautiful. It's got the uh, front spoiler with the correct hardware here. Got the little bar there to keep it st keep it stable. Let's look under the hood itself as long as we're open here. Let's look at all the attention to detail on this. Okay, 
can do hardware all across the top. Stock exhaust here. Original clamps. Yeah, everything up front here is new. If you look at this here, the wiring harness. This is all fresh, brand new wiring harness here. Looking at the lights on the inside here. See if I can get in there. Those lights are brand new. Not, not the old things just cleaned off. It's fresh. Hood blankets fresh. Correctly done hinges. And also, if you notice, the uh, heating core comes out near the fender wall, which shows it was an original big black car. Just beautiful. Power steering, power brakes. Uh oh, someone threw a gas filter in there. Not original, but hey, you need those things anyway. Let's just go for a walk around. It's got the original rally wheels. Excellent condition, beautiful. Going back here in the bumper, as you can see, there's me in the building. Let's close the hood so you can see what it looks like. Just a beautiful car. Let's get a look on the inside. This is all looking quite nice as well. Check the back seat first. As you can see, this hound's tooth is just beautiful. Fresh, brand new kind of stuff. Carpet as well. Genuine Chevy bow tie floor mats. It's got an oil pressure and uh, water temperature gauge here. The odometer is reading 9912.5. So now close to being original that is, but there it is. Council's in good shape. And it's got a uh, it's got a rampage cassette thingy by Audiovox. Visors are in good shape. Manual top only. And it does have a three spoke Chevy wheel. Might be aftermarket, not sure. Let's get a look in the trunk. And here in the trunk, this is a new boot. That's the boot inside the cover. Spare cover. It's got the jack. 
This soft seal is brand new fresh. There's the uh, sand canister, sand canisters that show this was an original convertible car as well. And looking under the mat, it's looking quite nice as well. Very nice. Let's take a look underneath here while we're at it too. It's supposed to be quite nice underneath as well. Oh yeah, we've got a fresh new gas tank, new dual exhaust, that's the uh, correct multi-leaf suspension springs, all new hardware back there, looking quite nice. And there's a little tiny grasshopper. There we have it. 69 SS Camaro convertible. Here for now, but not for long. Brought to you, of course, by ClassicMuscleCars.com.